<laughs> You're now fulfilled. Oh, that's too sweet. Come on. You're more important than that. You don't need anyone else to make you feel fulfilled. You should be able to feel fulfilled just with what you do in life. Honestly. Think about everything you've overcome to be here today. Do you know how many people don't make it this far? Do you know how many people never get to be the age that you're at? For whatever reason. You've overcome so many hardships. You've worked so hard. And now, it's time to just chill. Enjoy yourself. Lay down. And feel the cozy and warm vibes. Mm. <laughs> Don't cry. What the hell? This isn't about crying. This is about the honest truth right now. I want to be strong like you. I wouldn't say that I'm strong. I do my best. I try to keep my emotions in check. I try to be nice to those around me. I try to look after those that I care about, but... We all slip up every now and then. We all have moments where we know we've messed up. Hmm. But I try to do my best. I mean, this was April Fool's after all, and a Batsu game. The perfect time to do it, really. But I really wanted to give you guys the best that I could. And I guess that's the best thing to take away from this. You can slip up so many times in life, and honestly, you just have to pick yourself back up and keep going. You never have to think, oh, I fucked up, so I'm terrible now. I just need to give up and accept that now. Just make that change whenever you can. Don't go to sleep thinking about your failures. Instead, go to sleep thinking about all the successes you've had in life so far. Just how hard you're working. Just how well you're doing. And how much you deserve. Because you deserve everything. Everyone in this world deserves to be understood and seen and loved. I think that's the most important thing. Is the feeling that you're seen. The feeling that you're understood. The feeling that somebody has gone out of their way and taken their time. To actually try to understand you. Because even just that <laughs> can be pretty hard for some of us. We all work such stressful jobs. Or do education even, if you're still in school. That's stressful as it is. Especially at that point since you're still developing and don't know what else is going to happen once you're done with education. <sighs> but it takes a special kind of strength to be able to go about your day. You're writing your finals in three weeks? Oh, that's going to hit pretty hard. <sighs> Just take it one day at a time. You can only work as hard as you can. Study every day, but also make sure you're taking care of yourself. Remember, no exam is worth your health. Make sure you're eating well. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're exercising. And always make sure you're taking care of your mental health. Make sure you take enough time off to look after yourself. <laughs> that sounds so nice, dude. I'm glad to hear that. That's really what this atmosphere is supposed to be. It'll just be an hour-long stream of me responding to you guys. Time passes by so quickly. It really does. And that's another thing we all need to remember. We all get weighed down by, like, the day-to-day. -day. We all feel a little bit terrible every now and then at things that happen on a daily but you need to understand that anything bad is going to end. Anything that doesn't end, you're going to adapt to. And you just need to accept that as part of life. There are some challenges we have to overcome. And while we're going through them, it may feel like they're going to take forever. Once you get on the other side of them, you'll realize that the time flew by. Suddenly you're in a different stage of your life. And once that does open up, that's when you get to truly prove what kind of person you are. Sometimes I feel like time is slipping by me. I can feel that completely as well. There are some days that just pass by and the whole day you don't do anything. It feels like time just completely goes by you. You don't even get out of bed. And frankly, we need days like that. There's nothing wrong with having a day like that. There's nothing wrong with having a couple of weeks like that. As long as you remember that that doesn't define you. You can always change your trajectory in life. I had several months in a row where 
The only times I left the house were after like 3 a.m. I was so scared of people. I was so scared of ever interacting with anyone. And while that was going on, every night I would do the same thing. I would look out the window. My night had already fallen and everything had turned to silent. And I would think, this isn't me. Tomorrow. 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 I will work on myself. Tomorrow, I will fix what's wrong. Tomorrow, I'll be a better person. And I let that continue. For weeks. For months. For almost a year. A simple fact is, sometimes we carry heavy, heavy burdens. And at those kinds of times, you just have to accept that you're going to get tired. That you need rest. That you need some time to get your head back in check. And that's okay. Blaming yourself and weighing yourself down. That's a really good way to cause problems in your life. Instead, just do whatever you can today. Just do whatever you can right now. If you're able to, get out of bed, maybe do some exercise. Make yourself some healthy food. Open up the windows and let the air in. Clean your living space. Brush your teeth even. Any tiny thing. Any tiny thing is a good step for today. And that's all you have to do. Sometimes that's all the achievement you need. And you can do a little more tomorrow. Or you can do a little more in a few hours. You just need to stop thinking about what you've done in the past. And only worry about what's going on right now.